What is going on, my boxing family? It's your boy, Martin, a.k.a. The Boxing Purist. Welcome once again to the Truth and Absolute channel, where I speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, good God almighty. All right, y'all, so if this is your first time stopping by, by the end of the video, I hope that you're hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. <clears throat> I love talking boxing, especially to those that like actually talking boxing. If you see that I'm not replying to some of your comments, when the comments start going racial, and I'm not talking about necessarily calling names, but when you're, you know, you're thinking that certain things are going away because of a fighter's race. I don't reply to those, yo, because those are tricky to reply to. You know, I get what you're saying a lot of the times, but I, I don't mess with those. I'm sorry. Anyhow, so been thinking about the fight, the, the only fight that people are talking about. It's been a hell of a year for boxing. We got a few fights coming up, but the only thing on people's mind right now is Canelo and his next opponent, right? His next opponent, Jermel Charlo, we all knew that. I was talking to my boy earlier and he's like, the smaller Charlo? And like I told him, like I told you guys, I don't think Jamal was ever in the running for the fight. I think that's what they used to amp up the idea. That's what they did to let the fight marinate, get a quick marinate for a week and throwing Jamel in there. Cause again, good publicity, bad publicity is all good publicity at the end of the day. Now, this is gonna, be trippity, y'all. This is going to surprise y'all. But the ultimate winner, I was really thinking about this. The ultimate winner in this fight, and thinking back, you know, I I've never seen anyone in this position, nor given this position, handed right off the top, is Jamel Charlo is the winner. I'm not talking about the fight itself, but listen to what I'm saying. Jermel was lined up to fight Tim Zhu, which would have been a hell of a fight. It would have been a hell of a fight. And now he hit the double jackpot lottery powerball pick, all that in one by getting the fight for Canelo for many reasons. First of all, this is going to be Jermel's highest payday by far. By far, this is going to be Jermel's biggest payday. Second, Jermel has a pretty decent fan base, but he's going to get so much more exposure on this fight because after this fight, win or lose, he's going to be known to the casual boxing fans that only watch Canelo fight every now and then, don't really watch the sport, just Canelo fight. He's going to be known as the guy that fought Canelo now. So he's going to gain recognition. If he wins this fight, he went up two weight classes and dethroned the current king face of boxing. If he loses this fight, he jumped up two weight classes to fight the face of boxing he was expected to lose. Now, him losing this fight, and I'm not saying he's going to lose. I think it's going to be a great fight. If he does lose this fight, it doesn't necessarily hurt his chances of fighting Tim Zhu. It does absolutely nothing to that fight. Matter of fact, it doesn't do nothing to him fighting anyone south of 168. Really, think about it. Highest payday that he's ever gotten, probably ever going to get. Recognition, win, lose, or draw, he's a winner. I'm going to say, y'all, maybe y'all could remind me of somebody else, but Jamel Charlo just got the biggest gift that I've ever seen anyone in boxing get. I'm not saying that he didn't earn it, okay? But even if you ask him, I guarantee you he didn't think he was in the run for that fight. Why would he be? He campaigns at 154. Canelo's currently at 168. This ain't going to be no catchweight fight, right? So I'm not taking from what he's done in the sport. I think Jamel's a great fighter. However, it, it, think of it like this. Someone knocks at your door, ding, 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 ding. Hi. We're providing the car. We need you to race in this race coming up on Monday. I know you have no experience here. Just do the race, complete it, and we'll pay you $20 million. That's pretty much what he got, which, hey, nothing but love. I'm happy for the dude. So if y'all could think of another situation, another fighter that got a gift like this, let me know. Drop a comment down below, but it just hit me. Like, the ultimate winner <laughs> is Jamel Charlo. Nothing to lose. Big payday. Gains even more of a fan base. No risk at all, really. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll talk to y'all soon. Much love. God bless. Peace.